Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas. It appears the president has, after his historic tax cut victory, the president is back to work, and hopeful Democrats will help his party tackle health care. That's coming up next. The president tweeting, based on the fact that the very unfair and unpopular individual mandate has been terminated as part of our tax cut bill, which essentially repeals over time Obamacare, the Democrats and Republicans will eventually come together and develop a great new health care plan. But with his optimism, of course, resistance from Democrats like Bernie Sanders. All across this country are people catching on to the fact that Donald Trump ran for president saying that he was going to defend the interests of the working class and middle class, and it turned out he lied. Uh, you have a president who told us that he was going to provide health care to everybody. Then he proposed 30 million people being thrown off of health insurance. His tax plan was going to benefit the middle class. The bulk of the benefits go to the rich and large corporations. Bernie is very upset. <laughs> uh, he is airing some of his grievances against the president. Yeah. So this democratic narrative, how truthful is that? Are, are middle class Americans and lower income Americans actually not getting a tax cut? No, 91 percent of the middle class in this country are getting some kind of tax break. I think that Bernie Sanders is just upset that he can no longer write off all three of his houses in this tax bill. And it's clear that unless the left has an enemy class warfare going on in the name of socialism, they're not going to be happy about about any of this. We've heard the argument from him also that, look, corporations got a, a permanent tax break what individuals did not find. That is actually true. However, Some the, Republicans re the reason, have, but the reason for that the is because you need 60 votes to have permanent individual tax cuts. And the way that you do that is by getting Democrats on board. Bernie Sanders refused to step up. He didn't write his own bill. And here we are with the individual tax rate being temporary. They could vote next year to change it to be permanent. Uh, Health care proved to be much more difficult for Republicans right. than tax reform. And, you know, that, that's frustrating for the party. This is, however, a big victory and could have a great economic impact. What would it take for Democrats to acknowledge that tax cuts are, in fact, good for the economy. All Democrats are Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely right. a bit of That's a chasm a there. He speaks for quite a few Democrats. He does, an increasing amount, which we have discussed. I, I believe it to be problematic that the party continues to shoot, uh, shift to the left when the map keeps lighting up red, mm. uh, at least in 2016 it did, and throughout the course of the Obama years. Uh, Bernie Sanders, you're never going to sell on it. I think it's 80 percent are getting a tax cut of some kind. I wish that they had gone for larger tax cuts on the individual rate and maybe be a little bit higher on the corporate side. You know, we may fundamentally disagree whether trickle down works. I, I don't believe that it does. Uh, but we have seen the beginnings of those bonuses, a little wage bump. But this also doesn't come into effect fully until after the midterms. So we won't know how much Americans are going to feel like they're really better off before then. So I, I think it's a little complicated. Okay, then, and then, Why are you laughing? No, but I, I want to ask you about this, David. <laughs> this because the last statement's ridiculous. Okay, okay but I, I wanna, when does the bill come But I want to ask you about this because there's no, a difference between between having a tax break throughout 2018, right. but really not feeling effect until you file your tax return in 2019. Right. So how much of it is theoretical and how much of it is actual and does it matter? Well, it's all actual in this respect. You make your decisions based on what you have to file for in the following year. If you talk to any accountant, not pundits on the Democrat side, sorry, Jessica, I know I love you, but if you talk to an accountant, you talk to an accounting <laughs> firm, people are going to make their decisions based on the way they have to file their taxes, much in the way many are going to rush before the end of this year to claim certain deductions where in certain categories they may get a, big, a bigger benefit. And when you look at the tax cuts, which do take effect in part in February, and you look at S-Corps, uh, LLPs, LLCs, their decisions are going to be made on quarterly filings and projections next year. So the actual effect is there. The effect on the economy, by the way, and I'm going to use AT&T as the example of all the companies, but there are many others. If you give $1,000 to 200,000 people, that's $200 million you've injected into the economy, whether it goes into a bank or into a Christmas present or into a new pair of hockey skates for the kids or yeah, baseball that's... uniform. Yeah. That is money that is spurring consumer economy. So right away, PNC Bank, Wells Fargo, all these other companies giving bonuses, GoDaddy giving bonuses, that means that those people are going to use that money. That's an injection of 
consumer activity. That is the economic equation that matters. Well, and, and I'd rather see a company like AT&T give some of their employees a thousand dollars in a bonus check as opposed to the government subsidizing either uh, health care or just handing out cash willy-nilly because it's very different when the government gives out our money versus a corporation that is trying to use bonuses as a reinvestment. Big time, Kennedy. I think the only person who used the <laughs> word uh, trickle down was the Democrat on the panel. Isn't that right? We don't use that word, Jessica. Why not? Trickle down. It's That's it. It's not it. dated. Yeah. It's a Democrat slur. It always it, was. I know some real I've, slurs. That is not the slur. It, it, you guys have been using it since I was in high school, <laughs> Jessica. Or not you. You're much younger than me, Jessica. I am. Look, I'm a millennial baby. The, even and she Bernie doesn't Sanders. Like Bernie, which is amazing. Well, look, Bernie Sanders so admitted. Well, I saw her. him with Jake Tapper. <laughs> yes. He took the 91. Yes. He yes. said 91%. Mm -hmm. And Bernie said, yes, yes, it does. But they expire. They expire. He kept saying, they expire. Well, <laughs> then just. But, but then they were telling why to Katie's earlier point. If the Democrats who have cried for years that they want to lower taxes on the, the lower rungs of the income ladder in America, whatever they want to call them, poor, middle class, or otherwise, well, here's a case where they could have voted for lowering those tax rates. So well, I'm maybe, okay, the Democrats are that hypocrites. were available to us would not have meshed with our ideology. There was the so, Republicans so were economics so set is not on lowering. But economics I mean, is not say, ideology. I mean, so there are plenty of Nobel Prize winners on the economic side who you are mean the same Democrats ones that are doing the global warming analysis. Oh, I'm sorry, but, the, but you don't believe in okay. science. <laughs> but. Uh, the idea that you are opposed to the government spending our money, what I believe that this corporate tax rate does is basically saying that corporations are better equipped to tell us what to do with our money because they're deciding what will no, eventually they get trickle to down. What they, do. no. they get to decide what they do with their own money instead of the government but you're saying them it's going to do to something get to with their money. That, the that is the American dream that you boats, start a if business, you give it to if your business the makes the money, you get to decide what you do with okay. your money. We have that is the American dream. Here's another difference. This is wages. This is, that's because there wages is so much. Are increasing. But this is why we have not seen wages go up, why we haven't seen corporations hiring. Now that we are. There's been so much regulation, federal regulation in this country over the past eight years, which President Trump has taken off the table. 22 regulations repealed for everyone that is put on the books. That has been a wet blanket over the economy for nearly a decade. It's proven in the GDP numbers. We've seen it when you talk to small businesses and corporations about why they're not hiring. And it's because of an unstable environment, whether it's Obamacare, new federal regulations, those things all cost an enormous amount of money, and corporations aren't going That's to sit back. That's absolutely right. It's great. Cost it costs compliance. money. Exactly. And those are barriers to entry, and those are the things that keep people barriers from starting to businesses and growing businesses right. because they just don't have but the capital yeah. because they are so But, but here's hamstrung. another aspect of this. What's that gets wrong with ignored. corporations making money? I want to know that. What I is wrong with that? It, but I'm also in favor of middle and lower class Americans making a good they wage. Are. And no, the, they're this, not. They're if Obama more of their was money president, back. you would say that the wage Wages weren't going up high enough. Because they, they did. Okay, they but, were stagnant. But suddenly, but in the last rather, 11 months, we've had a eureka yes, moment. And yes, the economy has Wages up. have increased, Jessica. Corporate CEOs that's have made data. it that's not clear Trumpism, that they will that's not data. be paying higher wages okay. from this. Gary Cohn said at a because meeting of Because he was in a said, room with people and certain people didn't raise their hand. That's your data? Yeah. An informal poll in a room of people versus actual What's raw your data numbers? that five or six companies gave these bonuses right now, $1,000, that you think it's all no, going to be the fixed? the fact that consumer confidence is up, GDP growth is up, the stock market is up, yeah. wages all are up, unemployment is Obama down. years, too. That's data. Actually, if you look at more data and the economic equation on this, something that's important in America is the measure of home buyers. The home mortgage interest, they did a survey of this. Interest in home mortgages at an 18-year high. It's a spike that's happened since the beginning of this year. There's something else. You use the term trickle down. Trickle down once was a bad phrase for the Republicans to use. It's actually downward pressure from the economy in what the economic activity levels are created by corporations and wealthier individuals, investors, or otherwise in the society. It's also the upward pressure when you lift wages when you were not when you lift tax burden regulatory burden on the lower income scale when you have over 80 percent of the people according to the irs data paying and they'll make under fifty thousand dollars a year paying the obamacare tax penalty and you lift that from them that matters to them suddenly a thousand dollars to a person making forty thousand as a percentage of their earnings and their taxable income becomes great last part of this you double the standard deductions 
single, single parent or couple. Well, speaking, and now you release their money for them to use. Okay, plus speaking, and speaking of doubling, uh, Rosie O'Donnell is doubling down on her Twitter war. Uh, she went after Ben Shapiro last week, telling him something so filthy, I can't repeat it on a family show. Rosie and, said uh, something filthy? Yeah, and, oh, and, and she's been busy uh, tweeting out to Paul Ryan when Paul Ryan released a lovely Christmas message expressing his faith and hope. Uh, Rosie tweeted, Paul Ryan, don't talk about Jesus after what you just did to our nation. You will go straight to hell. You screwed up, fake altar boy. Hashtag <laughs> Judas much. <laughs> oh, wow. Tom, no I reaction mean, to that. <laughs> come on. It was, she, went, she put everything in there. Yeah, uh, yeah Rosie, she probably shouldn't uh, tweet. She's not taking advantage of the new expanded Twitter either. She's, her tweets are still very... Quite compact. They're very <laughs> short. You know, President <laughs> Trump, he's doing the, the... What is it now? 280? Yeah. 280 it characters. He's filling them out now. I think she's Do I really want to read a novelette every time I read something? I, I'm with yeah. you on that. They gave it to me. I've rarely ever used it. I don't need 280 characters in a manifesto. By the way, Rosie's tweets... I take it as a bowling they, score, though. Okay, yes. that, that's a good point. But Rosie's tweets are about as short as her basic intelligence. I mean, it doesn't exist. Oh, I remember, no, look, look, this is a woman who doesn't do the work. She had a show at Sirius. It lasted a few months. Why? I looked at it and said she doesn't do the work. So if she doesn't do the work, she doesn't have the understanding. She's like Chelsea Handler. She's a she, wannabe well, and she's also, who never will be and could never be a has She's a bomb thrower who's just trying to get a little bit of attention yeah. and, and get the attention of the press and the president. I understand that she's probably quite bored because she has been relieved of her duties from several employers. This seems unbelievably mean. Mean to be only talking about Rosie O'Donnell and kind of she's not a hard worker. Well, she can't title. keep a Did you job. Read what you... she said to Ben Shapiro? Oh yeah, and I've read what kind of things are said to Rosie O'Donnell. What the president of the United States of America has said about Rosie O'Donnell. Didn't you call her a fat pig? Did Did you read what she wrote I to Ben Shapiro? I don't think I, mean, any I keep of it is saying that because I can't deal... repeat it. But deal with her ideas. I mean, just no, don't say she loves her. <laughs> it's hard to do what she proposed on Twitter yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, her, her ideas that, that are ben a little Shapiro lacking. do something that a man and a woman on their honeymoon. Okay, I, would, <laughs> I would judge Rosie O'Donnell by her ideas if she were actually espousing concrete academic database ideas. But instead, she's going off about religion, which mm. leftists don't seem to do until it's convenient for them and accusing Paul Ryan of and saying he's going to go to hell. I mean, that's who made Rosie O'Donnell God. I don't think we'd be all scared of her. That was really oh. the case. I thought that was right. Hillary Clinton. Remember when she black. desperately wanted to dress up as Steve Bannon for SNL? No, yeah. like, no, no, we're like, no, thanks. I don't think <laughs> no, so. We're, we're no, we're really okay. We're good. Thanks, we don't Rosie. Need you. Why don't you go? Uh, why don't you go lock it up? So, are we going to see? any improved discourse because Jessica's right about something it's pretty nasty well, from yeah. both sides no I like we're, not, we're not we're not like like <laughs> down low that's how I like it's, it's just where I want it <laughs> we're, we're not the high road? Yeah. improvement exactly. I, I I hate to say it and I look you don't have to engage in it I choose not to engage in it yeah I find Did sarcasm you, hear what you just said about Rosie O'Donnell yeah, but, you don't I, engage in it okay actually factually I know that she's lazy and doesn't do the work because I used to be in the same What's company with her that's fact she's saying sounds like things Bernie Sanders. No, but, but here's the thing. I can, I, 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 I I can say what I, I know Bernie about Bernie Sanders, it. there is some merit to what he says for communists and, I was talking, and about I was socialists. talking about the working part of it. No, but I, I think Bernie, Bernie actually Bernie is Sanders. an authentic person who has a heart, and, and he operates with the best he intentions. He truly believes what he's right. saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Socialism and communism operated with the best intentions, and we won't even go into the data on how many have died and suffered. Hundred million under under socialism. And communism. Look, Katie as far as that one, Katie. I have a T-shirt. Yeah, I actually have a T-shirt that here. says "Communism killed a hundred million people, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt." Yeah, sure. but but to the, to the rhetoric. I wish the rhetoric would get better on policy, but unfortunately, Twitter and social media today and the environment is heavily polarized. You know, if you want to use something, I use sarcasm. Maybe you can throw in a couple of facts. You can actually tweet. Is that an people. app? Yeah. <laughs> Suffice to say, Ben Shapiro the, will not be taking Rosie up on her offer. Right after a. She blocked him. Oh, she. He won the argument. She blocked him. He went to Twitter and complained because it was sexual harassment. Hmm. It was. But it didn't violate Imagine the what that was. Until well, it Twitter didn't violate changed it. their mind, which they no. finally did. They did. They and they deleted the tweet. The tweet.